hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can create a login form inside our sidebar how we can uncheck the username and password will match then we will able to redirect the user with our admin page like this one page right otherwise user can't be uh, entered on admin page so I'm going to show you how you can do this. So first thing you need to go on includes where is side sidebar dot php page. Inside this page, you need to create a what form, right? I'm going to dismiss that no sidebar as well. This one. I'm going to use same thing copy paste and so refresh right but I leave the this one also this one I will keep the form form what is this form action is includes so login.php i will clear this page after creating a form so first one input text field name is email not username and class will be form control i'm gonna use there right and Class form control okay and form control inside our form control first and also use placeholder username it's uh, and I'm gonna use Class form group and put that field type password and then use password and class also form. I'm going to use form group right because I will include button login class form group. I type that. I don't confirm them of the group classes, but I tried them to display perfectly login form. So login man btn login right. So that and let's check it now. Very bad, very very bad. Okay, let's manage that. Mm, okay. And is input group right this is also mm, this will be form group and this will be input group and form control right and, mm, and I'm gonna use btn btn success I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna use spin tag inside spin tag I'm gonna paste that and then use class mm, mm, input group button I think it should be display perfect yes there we go right I mean also assign the placeholder as well, right? So refresh perfect. Mm, I check that also form group uh, form control form control input group. I think it should be working fine. So 
the next thing we need to do we need to go on and create folder and create a login or php page so include folder right and then we create a login or php page right and say this page and then i use now the first thing we need to uh, get the data from our database file inside our login page so i'm going to use require once db php right then i'm going to use if statement now let's go post and when you just click on the button which button this button then come into the if body inside the if body i'm going to get the data from the input text fields and the first input text field name is username copy that paste here now the second one will be password i'm going to copy the second one name paste here and i'm going to check that it's working or not username and password right so let's check it now it's working or not so i'm going to use admin admin hit enter oh, i can't see anything else why i don't know i don't know why i can't see anything else i check that where is the problem and deletes login our php page uh, username uh, okay i use type submit so i think it should be work oh uh, why i see this one password on the page on the URL mm. just a minute guys I check that where is the problem now username password I go back and refresh that and I'm gonna use admin admin okay I have a problem type submit so let's try that admin admin hit enter I seen the includes on login of php username is admin password is also admin why i seen the call just a minute guys i don't know why i seen this one problem type submit class btn btn login everything is a perfect includes yes um, this is uh, I think I don't need to use includes because this is also file available inside our includes folder so I think it should be display perfect first refresh admin admin no i can see i think i use includes slash php right form action okay guys the problem is we need to use method sorry i'm very very sorry for that refresh admin admin hit enter right includes login or php and this is our username and password right once we receive the data from the form 
then I'm gonna use Kitty. The Kitty is select static from uh, users where first I'm gonna check that the database column name CMS and uh, users where where username right username user uh, underscore name equal to but I use also username mysql i real escape string that will help you to convert the special type character into a string this is a php built-in function that will help you to convert any type of special characters into a string so you must be right this one function this function will get two parameters the first one is a your database connection name second one is a your input text field name so i'm gonna use same username so i'm gonna copy that and paste it i just change the second one variable test and also the same if you want to change that you can use this way or you can use another way right so i'm gonna copy this one username and paste on here this is very very uh, important for security right so if this query is a uh, getting a particular username from the database then i'm gonna use i'm gonna use um, data mysql i query we need to pass two parameter connection and query variable then i'm gonna use if mysql i fetch no i'm gonna use while loop. while row mysql i fetch fetch associate data i want to get the data from database right so username equal to row i'm gonna get the username from the database so i need to use the column name user underscore name right and password oh, and user password this is the database column name database table column name and then also assign the db underscore username db underscore password right those are just a minute right mm. i also getting the id db user id and we need to use user id column name user underscore id now the username first name last name db first name first name this is the database column name db underscore last name of all last name right and finally when user email and user role user underscore email character email user underscore role user underscore see I don't need to use those uh, things but sometimes you will use them for different purpose so I receive the data from database and assign the data in the variables so make sure we need to check the user role perfect once we get the data from the database and assign the data inside our variables then we need to use if statement inside our if statement I'm gonna check if our input text field username this one variable 
and we need to use equal to our db username first we need to check that I'm gonna use echo and I'm gonna use username in protect field username variable if this username match with our database username then we will get the username so I'm gonna check that it's working or not so admin author I'm gonna copy that and paste it and just enter as you can see we see the basically um, username I'm gonna copy the username uh, Android and right so another thing is I'm gonna display the email right so just a minute copy and paste if the username the input text field username and our database username will match then I want to display the email so let me show you Android the Android email will be androddev at gmail.com right so I'm gonna click to login Okay, just a minute why just a minute I save that do not save it I refresh it use android there we go guys as you can see we have received that email from the database right right now the next thing we need to match the password so I'm gonna use and our input text field password equal to three time equal right it means match the string characters right our db password will match then I want to display record this time I just use that otherwise otherwise I want to use here function I'm gonna use location dot dot backslash index.php if the username and password will match with our database then who will able to see record has been match otherwise who will redirect on this page this is the index.php page two times you need to use dot dot means outside of this folder outside of this folder have a file index.php so I'm gonna check that I don't remember the password okay one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine hit enter record has been matched right I'm gonna use wrong password one two three as you can see same page I'm gonna use something something right so I hope you are understood as well how you can use that uh, I think here the location and desktop.php perfect now if the password um, and username will match I want to redirect with user admin and where 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 I want to read out the user just when I check that mm. um, this one this one page so I'm gonna use header location uh, admin backslash right this is a login page I need to use dot 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 link two time box uh, outside of this file this file and go to admin folder inside our admin folder have an extra PHP I think it should be work I think I don't confirm but I try it I use android one two three four five six seven eight nine okay I don't see that. ok 
application. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I want to use this one. Right. I'm gonna show you why I have used this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Just a minute. Hmm. Okay, then. Let's let's add in. I think it should be right. And dirt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go, guys. As you can see. We just use dot dot means outside of this folder. This is a file available inside in includes folder. Outside of this folder, you need to go on uh, admin. Inside our admin folder, have index.php file. But why I have used admin only? Because just a minute, I'm going to show you. Because I have used somewhere admin.php page where where I don't know I don't know where I have used this way yes add post edit post I just used the folder name inside our folder name have an index.php page right it get automatically so I hope you are understood as well don't focus on other things just focus on how you can create a login form how you can get the data from database how you can redirect with user and other page in the next video I'm gonna teach you how you can use session to display the particular user on the page so thank you very hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can uh, assign the role how you can display the particular menus how you can display the particular username inside our admin page using session so I'm gonna show you how you can do this first thing I'm gonna add the login and this is the login form right and also cut that cut that and I will pass down here right so look at that perfect right so now the next thing I go to login at PHP page inside this page Basically, I have tried that um, before creating this video. Make sure you need to use session start. I'm going to use session start this, right? Once you start the session, then you will able to use session inside this page, right? So I'm going to use session to get the database data and assign the data inside our session variable. So first I'm going to use session and what user I just uh, take one variable db user role right I'm going to show you what he process and assign the user role variable this one this is a database user variable this user variable will give the database value and assign the value inside our user role variable right once you get the data from the database variable and assign the data inside our session variable now the next thing you need to go on first you need to go on where okay. admin and index.php page so inside this page I'm gonna use but now one more thing I need to use this is a header inside our header.php have also I think session start I got header no I need to start session session start 
inside our header.php. This file is available inside our admin underscore include folder. So make sure you need to start this one file because this file is available on each page. As you can see, admin includes header.php page. So inside this page, first I'm gonna use first I'm gonna also the session db user name because I want to display that on db user name. Right, and I go to index.php. I'm going to use if set session with session. I go to uh, db username session is the actor, and then I want to display. What score session db underscore user now? First, let's check it now. It's working or not. Uh, username and dude. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As you can see, author and dude. But this is a similar and this is a heading tool so what i'm gonna do here i will use this one simon and this is the heading what mm, i want to use this one in heading two and this one will be simon text right should be perfect Perfect author and right. Now the next thing here uh, if the user role is an admin, first I'm gonna refer that. If the user role is an admin, then who will able to see users view all users and perform the other operations, add user, added user, and many other things. If the user role is a subscriber then I want to uh, hide this one feature right this one so I need to go on where first I'll leave this one and also sidebar and go to simple simple where admin includes and new.php page right Inside nail.php, first you need to use session underscore start. Session underscore start, right? Now, where it is there, 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 there. As you can see, view all users, add user. So I'm going to cut that and use if statement. If a set double underscore session with session user db underscore user underscore role db underscore user underscore role is an actor then come into the if body I use again if double underscore session db underscore user underscore role actor to admin then come into the if body and I'm gonna close PHP day and again start PHP day. Inside this section I paste that right very simple I mean add that right so save that and let's check it now it's working or not first I go to view side and this is a subscriber last one is a subscriber so I'm gonna copy that paste it and use one two three four five six seven eight nine or other now another problem session already started 
okay i need to go on a dot php for this file i don't need that right so i click on that i can't see the users as you can see i click on that again and again i can't see right now i'll go to again view site page i'll use this one username and password is a one two three four five six and the role is admin right so i'm gonna use one two three four five six hit enter i click on that as you can see you can also hide that but in my case i just i'll show you how you can do that so the next thing is um, very important i go to again view site but i want to click on that i redirect on this page but i want to also manage this one feature so how i can do that i just need to go on to where uh, admin includes header.php inside this page make sure you have start and the ob underscore start and session underscore start also so i just use if set the underscore session not set i just use not set this is session with session uh, use this one copy paste and i'm going to use header and location dot dot index dot php if the session is not stored or not active then i want to redirect with user main page so i felt that i'm going to click on that okay it doesn't work I'm just do it I'm just do it i use another way the session is stored and also i'm going to check session db underscore user underscore role what mm, just a minute guys like that why this is this one on the top it should be work i think location location so let's try that mm, doesn't work i think it's uh, my browser problem so i think it should be work but it's perfect because i have tried that on previous time before creating a video i leave that on this time i will use that on later now let's work on the uh, lockout.php page means user will enter username and password and we will able to see the lockout feature right this one so i go to net.php page and where is this one and we need to redirect with um where mm, this one page no this one is dot 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 just dot dot slash includes So first we need to check that. I'm gonna click on that. Ah, yes, include CMS includes logout.php page, right? This one. This file will be we need to create on this page. So I'm gonna create a file logout.php and inside this file we just use 
inside this file we just need to use session underscore star and we need to go on where we need to go on just a minute sidebar.php page no sidebar we need to go on where this one page we just uh, use this one those variables right and go to logout.php page and we just assign the null right and also null then I want to use here location logout.next.php that's it I think it should be working so let's check it now and let me click on that perfect right let's check it now okay as you can see this is a working on this time as you can see I can't uh, log in the account so this is a simple code where this is a simple code you just need to use if not set dollar underscore session db underscore user underscore code is not active in the session then we will redirect on this page so I hope you are understood as well how you can manage that I also use this one again I'm gonna show you one two three four five six login admin author this is my username I am able to access them I am able to log out right now right so I hope you are understood as well how you can manage that so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can set up the profile page like this one means user or author or admin anyone will enter the username and password who will redact on this page then who will able to see how to edit the record for example uh, this is a admin author has been logged in the CMS system it means the admin author will able to perform the operation like click on the John Smith and click the profile page then who will redirect with another page like profile.php page inside the profile.php page who will able to change the uh, personal information like uh, username email password and any other things right so we need to work on that to create this page right so I'm going to show you how you can do this so first thing you need to go on your code editor and go to admin and first thing first is go to admin includes and you go to nav.php page inside the nav.php page have a link first we need to remove this one RT our dashboard so first I'm gonna remove this one last one this is a cell refresh that last one link has been removed now the next thing you need to change the page name this is a basically if a, if a user and this is a profile link so I'm gonna change that to write the profile.php this is a profile.php page we need to create this one page so I'm gonna create this one page inside my admin folder right uh, first I'm gonna check let's check it uh, profile.php right yes it's syntax I just write uh, not I'm gonna write the go to I'm gonna open users.php page copy the whole thing or code go to profile.php page and paste it and we need to remove all of the stuff on there and I'm gonna just use profile page this is a my readable page right for that I'm gonna click on that this is a profile.php profile page right this is a my readable page now the next thing we need to do is we need to check which user 
logged in on this page if this is a admin author um, user then I want to display the admin author on this page so first I'm gonna remove users tag and and what 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 I also remove the new.php page right and now I'm gonna show you the important thing right what first I'm gonna check that where is the login page we have made the login page right so I'm gonna check that where it is mm. this one page right first I'm gonna show you this one page this is a login.php page you need to open that right inside this page we have used sessions right this one session and I'll do so this one session right so I'm gonna use this one session if this session variable is active I'm gonna show you practically inside this page I'm gonna use one more thing I'm gonna show you I don't need to write the session start on this page why because we have included this one page admin includes hero.php inside the hero.php have already I'm gonna show you session started hero.php session started I don't need to write the session start on this page right so I'm gonna check if say dollar underscore session with session open login.php db user underscore name this session is active then I want to display the message first I'll just use simple session db user underscore name first we need to sell that if the patch there we go admin author this is a my database with the name right now the next thing we need to do is we need to just cut that basically we just check that it's working or not I go to a bow and paste on here and remove that and write that key and that okay, six index of PHP if session is set done with the session db underscore user what is the name of the session name is active then come into the if body right and now one more thing we need to do what what we need to do we need to run we need to close this one and we need to go on where admin admin includes um, edit underscore user dot php page and say so this page have a form I'm gonna show you this one form you need to copy that um, not this one I think I go to add user page I'm gonna copy the add user page form like this one and this is a closing form day copy that and after the heading one tag you need to paste that first we need to set that and refer the page perfect this is a profile.php page and inside this page I want to get the complete record from the particular user and display the complete record on the input text field then user or admin were able to perform the operation like update the record so mm, just a minute first thing is first I'm gonna change to update record right 
leave this one tab and we leave the everything right so I think I need to go on a poll now the first thing we need to get the data from session enable so I'm gonna write username the one's called session db underscore user underscore name then we need to write query users where user I need to check the user underscore name user underscore name equal to username variable that means our input text field uh, you can say that session variable value will match with our database user name then I want to get the particular user data from database so I'm going to use data mysql query mm, con on secure right now the next thing we need to write the while loop on my skill i h associate and pass the data variable now inside this page we need to get the data from database right the first one is a user id I think this is uh, available on another page uh, where so I need to find that edit user add user uh, edit user and say the edit user you know, go to a poll and this is the same data so I'm gonna copy that Right, this is a complete same data which available on this table user ID, username, user password, first name everything is same so I'm going to copy that and go to profile.php page and paste from here right and what is next I'm going to also go to edit underscore user page and I'm going to copy this same form which are available on edit underscore user page that are available inside admin underscore include folder so I'm going to copy this one form also what is this this one copy that go to profile.php page and now I'm gonna select this one form and paste on it so that I think it should be work perfect as you can see guys I am able to see my particular record has been appeared now let's check out the I'm gonna log out and this is a subscriber right and I use the name is Android so I'm gonna use Android password will be one two three four five six seven eight nine Right. go to profile and your subscriber everything is a perfect right as you can see now the last thing we need to perform the operation like update the record this is update users so first thing you need to change to update yes thing update user update profile I'm going to change profile right Now the final step we need to update the record right so what update between update uh, I'm gonna change the profile right now I go to a poll and after this if statement right I'm gonna again use if is set now let's go post anyone user click on the button which button I'm gonna show you this one button. Click on this one button, then I want to perform the operation. Inside this one, we need to get the data from farm, right? So I need to go on this one page and need to copy this one. Complete this one also. 
this is also query right so I'm gonna copy this one also I'm gonna copy the whole thing right and paste on here right now inside this page we just uh, change few things the few only one thing where user underscore name equal to our session variable username I'm gonna show you the session variable name like this one very simple I'm gonna use our what right to display the complete data on the page I'm gonna change to user ID to username that's it this is our complete uh, operation to perform the operation this is a complete basically update process very simple so I think I need to check that it should be work I'm gonna change to admin Click to update there we go guys as you can see admin uh, refer that admin right I'm gonna go to profile uh, and this is a basically particular user so I'm gonna log out I'm gonna open admin author possible will be one two three four five six open profile.php page and username will be admin Ditch. Username admin, right? So we have successfully made the page with the name of profile.php and performed the operation like update the particular user and display the particular user data instead of form. So I hope you are understood as well. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture. Hello, guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the admin page like dashboard I'm gonna click on this one then I want to display the weight gets I have a page I'm gonna show you this one page I have this file admin underscore weight gets I will uh, mention this one file on my site you can find out this one on my CMS system I'm gonna show you go to my site and I will upload this one file on this page um, basically this is my internet problem basically um, yes internet problem here and problem don't worry I will mention this one uh, file on my CMS system I mean uh, file so first thing you need to open that on the any code editor and you need to copy the code or code go to your code editor and open the file I'm going to show you the file name is uh, index.php which available inside our admin page this one file open that and now closing this row right this closing row and this is a container right there, this is our party right and this is uh, also this one there container and this one will be this container right and this will be not this will be this one 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 what is the last one where is the last one there this one first I check that one two three four five I'm gonna check the one two three four so we need to also this and this I need to it's also closing there, right? 
I think it should be perfect. So after this one, you need to paste the code, save the file, and go to this one page. And after that, perfect, right? And first, I'm gonna okay. This is update. I'm gonna leave that, and I go to a poll and I'm gonna change that to wall. Welcome to sir. Welcome to this one. No, I don't like that. I just use author, right? So, I prefer that. Perfect. Now, this is the widgets. I want to display the dynamically new posts inside this page like uh, how many posts published on the site, how many comments published on the uh, particular post, how many users, how many KTPs. So I need to go on code editor and uh, I need to uh, go on below where it is, where view details, not post here. This is a 12 post, right? So this is the deal. This is a huge deal. This one deal. So inside this deal, I'll write the query. The query is select static from us. Um count this is my variable query pass two parameter connection and sql variable number post mysql i num rows you need to pass the count variable that's it this one post will be used to display the particular post numbers so i'm going to copy that and use that on here yes i think it should be displayed yeah three as you can see how uh, where is the post cms post how many posts are like one two three right now the next thing here, uh, you need to use same thing on each widgets commands. Right, so I'm gonna copy that and go to blow. And this is a comment, right? As you can see, comments. So I just need to paste the simple code. This one and we need to change the table name comments and i count comment num comments right and we need to also change few things the first thing is we need to copy that paste on it that's it I need to copy that and paste down here. Call, save, refer that 12 comments. Let's check it now how many comments are available. 12, right? As you can see, all comments have approved uh, and also approved, right? So the next thing I will use it. So I'm going to copy that and go to below. And after this one, I test the code. And I'm going to change that users. Count users. Copy that and paste on here. No need to change that now. Users. Copy that and use 
PHP is equal yes, to self perfect last thing here uh, first I need to check that to how many users to let's say good now users to perfect last thing we have a category so I'm gonna copy that and category here is category so there's that and also what and then this num cat I'm gonna copy that call get and paste on so num cat copy that and scroll and paste that's it five right so we have five categories right and everything is a perfect we have a dynamic data appeared on the admin dashboard page so i hope you understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we have discussed all about how we can display the dynamically data on the web gates in this video i'm going to teach you how you can display the chart but before adding the chart i'm going to show you few things the few things are is uh, links those are default link i do not uh, write the link before creating this video right before creating this video i do not write the link this is the default links i made the file you just need to download the file and change the few things like those things those you have learned on previous video how you can display those data you just adding uh, the dynamically data the all links working as well i'm going to click on the uh, view all post this one link i'm able to see view all post i'm going to click on dashboard i'm going to click on to view all comments those are all comments i'm going to click on that i'm going to click to users users i'm going to click to dashboard and click to categories, categories, right? So you can download the basically what you can download the you can search the CMS on here. Just a minute, I'm going to show you after loading the site. I'm going to show you right the CMS, right CMS keyword, and where it is. How to start a block where I have published or to start this one this is a my project. you just need to open that and I will upload the link download link on here uh, I will download the I will upload the uh, file link inside this section or after this video right you can download that then you just need to change few things to display the dynamic data right so let's talk about how you can display the chart so first thing you need to open the Google and right now you need to search the Google map right right just a minute this is my Internet speed so slow map API right so well I just use this one link developers dot google dot com slash map documentations and now in this page I'm gonna select the lab what map no, no I don't need that I just use well chart right I need to open the chart I do not write a Google map right yes and get started not this one uh, you okay, where it is this one I'm gonna click this one view source 
now the next thing we need to check that then I'm gonna show you uh, this work it okay this just a minute just a minute just a minute now I think this is a chart over chart yes where this one okay okay I will be using this one right now we need to just uh, this is a loader but I check the chart what chart I will use on my admin panel so first I'm gonna check that this one with no material gel not working old version so this is a not working on old version but I will use this one because are you gonna use this one I also like this one you can choose any one as you like but this is a multiple chart right and this is also multiple so uh, I will use this one right I will use this one or uh, this one so I'm gonna select this one right so first thing you need to copy the JavaScript file script type script I don't need to use that just to copy this one and go to your admin panel uh, admin includes header.php and paste this one mm, inside the head section right this is our script tag I know I need to remove that and now the next thing you need to open the what you need to open index.php file right this one this one file right and after the what is this is a complete okay I need to go on my chart and I need to copy this one script right well, well, this one this is a closing script copy that and paste on here not paste on here you need to uh, write the tail right and first thing send the class row there and then class mm, call then I'm gonna also send a class another class like uh, class or container right inside this section I'm gonna paste the same whole code and I go to a pro and this is a my script tag this is uh, use this one I copy this command and paste on here and just I need to change few things few things not few things only one thing so other uh, this is a chart right now one more thing we need to do is to display the chart you just need to copy this one there and now you need to paste code where this is uh, okay after the script code right yes, yeah. and I think it should be displayed so let's refer that where is my chart yeah there we go right but chart is not suitable right don't worry I will manage that I will I will Okay, this is a closing row. Okay. Mm. I go to Abo and I just need to check few things. Uh, 
this is the main row right and this is the closing closing row right after this one I'm gonna I'm gonna display the table just I'm gonna check that cut that and go to a bow not to bow paste here first sell that and after that right but it should be display on low so I will write there class call and I'm gonna paste that and if I that mm, not working fine just a minute guys I'm gonna remove this one this is uh, I also remove this one right and I'm gonna cut that right so I'm gonna fill that so why I seen this one it is First, I'm going to check that. Sell and refer that. And now this is the row. Row and paste the code. Sell. Now we also get the div this one. So just a minute, guys. This is my mistake. So I tried to display the chart. Perfect right so you just need to follow on few steps the first step you need to remove the divs closing div tags and you need to make another div after the closing this is a closing row tag this is a, after this div you need to make another div and assign the class row and paste the code that's it and after the script code this is a closing script code you need to paste the div that will help you to display the chart right now another thing is I'm going to change to with 100% right and now another thing is this chart appeared uh, on the left side so I will manage that in just a minute I'm going to copy not copy I'm going to cut that I'm going to cut that also remove this one and this is the class call the container right paste that code and also we need to also use closing skip tag and cut this one and paste after the script code right save save and fill that as you can see right so I think it should be working fine right very simple so I think I will manage that on later because I will use this chart to display the dynamically data right but I'll show you how you can do that so I think I need to work on it but I will remove this and just a minute guys this is my okay guys so first thing is first we need to go on we need to check the data which data we need to remove that right so here is the data near by galaxy I don't need that and also this one I don't need that 
and also this is uh, one section second section I don't need this one that one right I'll leave the two options refer that right and our chart has been cleaned right now one more thing we need to check that I am gonna use uh, with auto so I think it should display perfect mm, just a minute with auto I leave the height and I'm gonna check that hmm not good I'll leave that because because what because okay so I'll leave that and we need to work on to display the dynamically data right so this is a galaxy this is a 8k so we need to remove those things like this one and this one and this one also this one so I use also remove this one and I'm gonna use data post so first we need to check that um, Okay, this is my mistake, guys. Just don't I do that? Okay, so that this turns like this. Okay, so guys, uh, I will change that. Galaxy to post white and only last one and first I check that because I don't need that it doesn't work but I'll leave this one distance and okay I'll leave the first one and I'm gonna use post data no I'm gonna use count and post right copy past copy past I think it should be display mm, not peering okay where is the mistake I need to check that where we need to change that Mm. One, two, one, two. I remove this one. And for that, so I do not see in chart. Just a minute, guys. This is my mistake. I don't need that. But but just first say that and for that and go to below and just assign the auto I'll leave the style I don't need to display the height uh, I mean width because the width will be weird very well because I want to manage that
so um, this is the first second second so just a minute um, just a minute guys I want to display the few things this is this pencil level white and See distance. I want to remove this file and refer that. Perfect, right? We have seen only two data, right? And I also remove the brightness, distance, galaxy. Just a minute. Mm. Okay, just a minute. I'm gonna use count only the other things like this one, right? I also use data. This is my mistake, guys. So for that, I use count, right? And this should be display post. And the value will be I'm gonna use five value twenty. So I found that. Hey, this is our count and this is our post. Okay, how many posts are available? Forty, right? You can also I will I will teach you how you can display another thing. So I will uh, make another video. So this video is too long because I have tried to work on that to display their perfect data but this video is too long so in the next video i'm going to teach you another thing so thank you very much for watching see you hello guys welcome back in this video i'm going to teach you how you can display the dynamically data inside our chart i want to display the how many posts available inside our chart how many comments available inside the chart how many users how many categories i want to display the whole data one by one inside uh, that will display inside my chart I want to display the post commands uses and categories inside my chart one by one so I'm gonna show you how you can do this so first thing you need to open your code editor and this is the first array this is the second array you need to use basic syntax inside this one section right and now you need to make erase first it is a uh, static data so first thing I want to display the post then I want to display the uh, comments then I want to display the and also send the equal sign then I want to display the users then the final little will be categories the whole data is a series by as you can see post comments users and categories right now we need to get the dynamic data dynamic data this is my variable so we need to get the variables from the upper one two three we need to use three commas and go to above first thing we need to get the variable that will display the how many posts published on the block so we need to copy this variable num post and go to below and we need to just paste on here one right this is a static data this is a my dynamic data i'm going to show you how you can display that now the next thing we need to display the comments so we need to go on a board this is the comments and this is the comments variable so we need to copy that i go to below and we need to paste on it then we need to get the user and also category so i'm going to copy the category i'm going to paste this one in the last because i want to display the last one inside this one i'm going to get the user variable right this one copy and now we need to paste that use terminals and then i'm going to use for loop and make a variable i assign the value zero 
then I want to compare that with four numbers. How many static data are dynamically data available on here? Four. How many um, keys are you can say that are indexed inside the array? Four. So I'm gonna assign the four. Then I'm gonna use i plus plus script records. Inside the script record, I just use echo double quotation. Inside the double quotation, we need to use brackets. Inside the brackets, we need to use script records. Inside the script records, we need to pass the first one data. Our variable. And we need to also use the what array. Inside that, we need to pass the i variable. That will help you to display the step by step post comments, uses, and categories. We need to also use single quotation after the array and to the, before the closing array. This one, right? Right? So, this data will be appear on the page that will help you to display the post comments users and categories text then I'm gonna remove this one right I'm gonna display this one on the last then I want to display the dynamic data like this one so I'm gonna use concatenation sign to sign with a space again concatenation sign I'm gonna use same thing split brackets and I'm going to display the dynamic data. I need to call this one variable and use array. Inside the array, we need to pass the i variable. But we need to first, I'm going to cut that because we need to use single quotation, double quotation. Inside that, we need to paste. I just need to first double quotation. The last one, double quotation, right? Double quotation, single quotations, and inside that you need to use that, right? Now, finally, you need to close this one array. This is a starting array. This is a closing array, right? And this is a basically this one section, and this is a this one section, and those are make a space between one and second data, and this is the concatenation signs, right? And finally, you need to write the terminal sign. I think uh, the chart will be appeared. Mm, okay, I think we need to check that. Mm, okay, okay. First thing we need to command that, and now we need to make a assign a comma, right? So I think it should be display. Not this dollar. Oh, don't worry I will check that this is the static data cross 0 for 1 plus plus and this double quotation closing mm. okay, I need to use comma this comma is represent this one this is a uh, basically static data and this is a dynamic data this is a static data this one will be this one and this is the dynamic data will be this one so i think it should be displayed so after that not not again and echo static this is the first one this is a closing this is a and this Basically, okay. I need to use double quotation, right? And in just a minute, and this is a double quotation, and this is a double quotation. This is single creation, this is single quotation, this okay. I need to check that first. Okay, something is wrong. Yes, I know that. 
I'll remove that. I'll remove that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, just a minute. I check that. Mm. I'll remove this one. Because this is a dynamic data, and we need to use comma. I think it should be displayed. Basically, this is a static uh, dynamic data. I don't need to assign or use the single quotation. I use single quotation inside this section because this is a static data. So I think it should be display. Okay, not display. Mm -hmm. I use again after this one. I use comma. And if I that. Yeah, perfect. We have seen the dynamically data. How many posts published? Three. How many comments? Twelve. How many users? Twelve. Uh, two. How many categories? Five. Those are static data. As you can see, those data available on my first one array, right? This one. Now the second one data have a dynamic day. This will be have a three, twelve. To and I will publish the post, then chart will be updated. So I know this is a uh, tactics very, very difficult tactics uh, to appear the chart. You can use that to display your own chart. I just uh, know, I just tell you how you can display that dynamically chart and how you can use that. This is a my mistake, I know. Uh, every developers creating a mistakes then who knows about the mistake then who will be work on better so I hope you understood as well how you can uh, display the chart how you can display the dynamic data so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture